to try your luck again? Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. And now for your bounty challenge opportunity. Your banjo, Sam. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Let's make this quick. I have experiments to supervise. I fall. Uh, oh. I call. I'll check that. That's a check. 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 I'll check that. I'll check that. I'll bet. I call. Mr. Funny Chips has a pair of eights. And Mr. Williams has a pair of eights. Ash wins with the ten kicker. Groovy. Thanks for another crappy hand, lady. You're welcome. It's nice to be appreciated. Call! I call. Check. Why do we have dreams about flying? Sybil says that flying dreams are all about feelings of freedom, or something like that. I'm not talking about that head shrinker stuff. Why is flying something we even think we can do in our dreams? It's not like we can do it in real life. Big deal, in some of my dreams I'm kicking the sun in the crotch. Dreams are weird like that, you know. Sure, sure. But you've had experience with kicking things in the crotch. Your body knows what that feels like. But none of us has ever flown. We don't know what that feels like because it's impossible. But we all have flying dreams, right? Ash grabs the pot. Someone get a hose, cause I'm on fire, baby. Uh, anyhow, like I was saying, what are you getting at? What if, millions of years ago, humans used to fly? You're dangerously close to blowing my mind, Ash. Think about it. Flying dreams. Superman. Peter Pan. What if it's all an attempt by our brains to remind us how to fly? That's, uh, crazy talk, Williams. Is it? Or is it the sanest thing you've ever heard? I'll call. Call. I'll call that. I'll check. 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 Bet. Fold. I call. I'll fold. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. Check. Check. Brock has a pair of fives. And Ash has a pair of fives. Brock wins with an ace kicker. Cool.
Yeah, I'm in. So, you're a dog. For certain values of dog, yeah. And you, Flapsnap. Claptrap! You're some kind of robot? I'm also a ninja! And our host is a pirate. I'm more of a retard raconteur these days. And none of you are weirded out by this? Nope. Hey. I get weirder things in my sandwiches. Okay, then. Hold on. All in. Woo! Nice. Big oh, mistake. Wasn't impressive. Really? Not this time. Yeah. Son of a... Ash has a pair of sevens. The player has two pair. The player wins. Nah. Call. <laughs> I'm in. Checking. Better not be cheating with some sort of X-ray attachment there, R2. Why would I need to cheat? My cybernetic processors are more than capable of whipping your primitive ape brains. Hey, I'm a dog brain. Besides, X-ray lenses are so 20th century. All the cool robots are using quantum prediction fields these days. But not you, right? Um, yeah, right. That sounded like the shutdown of a quantum predictor field. That was, uh, my, um, internal dialysis regulator, which I need for my diabetes that I have. Mr. Samson has ten high, and the player has ten high. The player wins with the five kicker. <laughs> well, that was a hand for the ages. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. Jeez, what's it gonna take to knock one of you losers out? Nope. Call. Call! Check. Pussy says what? <clears throat> That's eight cards of crap and a five card hand. Claptrap steals the pot. That's right! You better run! Five. Five what? Fingers. Well, you got five of them. I only have four. Yeah, I've been trying not to stay. What's it like having five? Oh, it, uh, it is what it is. The pinky comes in really handy when you're choking someone out. Oh, Max it like that. So, uh, what's it like with four? Can't complain. Between the fingers and toes, I'm practically built for the computer age. Yeah, how so? We're hexadecimal, baby! I guess you could say for us, the computer age has been a regular digital revolution. Yeah! Don't do that. Sorry! Uh, I'm all in. Great day in the morning. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. 
Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Crap! The player has two pair, and Mr. Williams has a pair of fours. The player wins the hand. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Ashley Williams has been eliminated. Damn. If you need me, I'll be over at the bar hoping for a demon apocalypse. Calling? Time for... Raise. Think, think, think. I'm going all in! Just like I was with your mama last night! Turns out she's a really good poker player. Great day in the morning! Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I'm not yet. I don't know. I, uh, I'm all fucking in. Oh, fuzz nuggets. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Claptrap has a pair of queens. The player has two pair. Brock has two pair. On the side pot, Brock wins with the higher pairs. Nice. And on the main part, Brock wins. Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. Okay, guess that's it. I'm dead. Hey, where's the regeneration tunnel? We don't do that here. But I can make a whooshing noise if that will make you feel better. Crap. Call. I'll check. 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 Ah, uh, welcome to the party, kid. I like my action a little less complicated. All in. Damn. Good for you. Crab cakes. <laughs> Dang. The player has a pair of twos. Sam has a pair of twos. The player wins with an ace kicker. Sam has been eliminated. Are you sure about that? Because I think Max stole one of my chips. I'm sure. Ugh, geez, Sam, have a little dignity. Wow. Stuck in a showdown with Captain Smalltalk. Ah, go. Are you sure of it that magnitude is wise for someone in your delicate financial bracket? Oh. The player takes the pot. I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. Check. 
I'll check. I don't know. Oh, man. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. What's that? Pretty ballsy move for a gelding. Brock Samson has three of a kind, and our silent friend has three of a kind. Brock wins with an ace kicker. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I should put the two of you in a cryogenic unit, so that I can replay this tournament over and over at my leisure. But that would be wrong. Uh, I'm gonna bet. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I'm not yet. I'll bet. Uh. Brock steals the pot. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling. do that. They can't win if you don't play. Man. Mr. Samson has a pair of sixes, and you have a straight. The player wins. Well done. Now we'll see how you do when I'm not stacking the deck in your favor. I call. Big mistake, Junior. Oh. The player takes the pot. Check. You might want to pace yourself there. I'll see your bet and kick in a few more. Just cause I can. Brock Samson has a pair of sixes, and our silent friend has King High. Brock wins the hand. I'll just take the I've taken the liberty of moving the blinds to 1,000 and 2,000. I love these little moments of quiet before the crying starts, don't you? Check. Hmm. All right. 
Enough of these weak-ass bets. Your words are like those of a poet laureate being clubbed to death with a tire iron. Rock steals the pot. Well, it looks like Lady Luck settled in for a long night at the Casa de Brock. Trying to step up, huh? He's gotta be bluffing, right? Sure, why not? Brock has a straight, and the player has a straight. We have a tie, and the pot is split. A tie? What is this, soccer? I feel lucky. What about you, punk? Uh. Uh. I'll raise that. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. You sure you want to do that? I'm out. The player takes the pot. If you're folding because you're too embarrassed to admit that you've forgotten the rules, just nod your head. I promise not to tell anyone. Rock steals the pot. You know, after this is over, we should blow this joint and find some real action. At the conclusion of tonight's activities, the player will be escorted home by the Inventory Security Service. Oh, you sure? Because uh, I know this joint on the coast where they play Russian roulette with confiscated ray guns. The owner would frown on disintegrating the player. Ah, oh, come on, they're set on stun. Damn. Not this time. The player takes the pot. The blinds have been increased to 264 and 4C8 in base 23. I'll give you a minute to work that out before I deal the next hand. Brock steals the blinds. Nice. In a professional poker tournament, it's not uncommon to go many hands between showdowns. In this case, I'll assume it's because you don't know what you're doing. Sure, why not? Seriously, that's the way you're gonna play. I come. Hmm. This pot needs a little Samsonite. 
Brock steals the pot. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling. I project a 0.05% chance that this tournament will end in bloodshed. Luckily, I don't have any blood. Big mistake, Junior. I'm out. The player steals the blinds. Call. You might want to pace yourself there. Sure, why not? <laughs> not exactly projecting a lot of strength there, kid. Ah. Check. I'll check. Brock steals the pot. Ah, welcome to the party. I'll stay in, cause I'm crazy. I love these little moments of quiet before the crying starts, don't you? Check. Ah. What's that? Pretty ballsy move for a gelding. Brock Samson has two pair, and you have two pair. The player wins with an ace kicker. That's strange. I'm starting to get impatient with this tournament. I'm not really programmed to get impatient, but here we are. Maybe if I increase the blinds to 1400 and 2800, the feeling will go away. I feel lucky. What about you, Buck? Brock steals the blinds. No shame in losing to a superior opponent's mate. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I'll raise that. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Have some cheese, rat. I'm all in. You freaking kidding me? Mr. Samson has a pair of fours. The player has a flush. The player wins the hand. Laugh it up while you can, fuzzball. Dang, there goes my banjo. Guess I'll have to take up the oboe. 